those vegan guys. Thank you. Hello, my muckers. It's uh, Saturday evening or Friday? Is it Friday? It's Friday. Friday evening, you've probably hopefully seen our Wing Yip shopping vlog today and if you haven't, I'll link it up there at the top now along with our meals and gardening update for the last few days but tonight we're having burger, chips and sauce there's Jason's look, all, um, all looking rather glamorous it's Aldi's chicken style burger with Sainsbury's <sighs> cheese slices the sauce that I made last time, which is Dijon mustard, mayo, ketchup, and gherkins. Is it the peanut butter? And no, I didn't do peanut butter ah. with this one. That was for the beef burger. Friday night's dinner, darling. Ma ha 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 ha. You know, because it's linked in with mystery. Hello, my absolute darlings. If you hear any clanging in the background, oh, he's finished now. Jason doing the pots. He always does the pots. As soon as I've finished dinner, before we sit down to dinner, so there's only the plates to finish afterwards. Well, you do mostly, don't you, Jason? Mostly. <laughs> so tonight, as you can see, we're having Iceland sausage roll, Linda McCartney sausage, half a sausage for me, one and a half for Jason. We're having uh, oven baked half tomato, new potatoes and long stem broccoli. And on the new potatoes there is a sprinkling of chili ducker. Um, quick story, by the way, I went fingering in the, my pot of potatoes outside today in the soil and lo and behold, there's little potatoes under there. However, these are not the, them potatoes. Uh, there'll be a couple of weeks maybe, uh, thus far, but yes. Um, so there you go. Dindins on Saturday evening. Hello, my darlings. It's Sunday evening. And as you so hopefully saw... Uh, we went for a lovely walk around Alexandra Park today. If you didn't see that, I will link the vlog up in the corner there now. There's the handsome husband. And it's Zad's treat night. <laughs> um, we it, it, Zad's only come uh, once a fortnight. We missed out last time because uh, we actually couldn't afford one. Uh, but tonight we thought, no, we're having, we're having it. So this is, oh, there's all kinds of stuff on this piece, so I can't even describe it to you. If you don't live in the deliverable area of Zad's, I feel very sorry for you. And once a month, it's bloody good to have a good treat. Am I right, Jason? You're not wrong. Good. So that's how the meal looks. And uh, yes, tonight we're having Linda McCartney's fish goujons, mushy peas, peas and sweet corn, chips... And it's the first meal out of the air fryer. And we're absolutely delighted. Delighted, I tell you. Delighted. Mm. Okay, we're about to sit down. Crispy baked tofu, rice and um, veg mix. Good evening. I'm filming this on Monday evening. Very pleasant evening. Just thought I would show you. Um, see that beautiful shaped lettuce right there look at that isn't she gorgeous we've been eating so much of this lettuce um just lately just pulling the our leaves off making sandwiches absolutely delighted uh our big uh audrey two courgette plant lots of blooms coming through the main one there absolutely fabulous what i wanted was i wanted a bit of advice from any of you that know about potatoes so these are the rooted new potatoes that i planted a few weeks ago and uh, i have been fingering around in the soil as suggested by uh, uh the lovely lauren from brain girl channel uh, and i can feel some little potatoes now um, these are obviously non-flowering varieties, so it's not like wait for the blooms to drop and then you can, uh, then you can harvest. The only other thing that I've read online was a Google search saying, wait until the leaves all yellow or brown, then cut the plants down, leave for 10 days still in the soil and then harvest. Does anyone know if that's correct? But let me see if I can show you. 
what I what I was look look that is a bloody potato oh, I've just pulled its skin off that is a potato so I, but I don't know when to harvest them uh, the tomatoes are blooming like buggery the uh, the chilies sorry we've gone into the dark a bit now so many little chilies on this plant uh, and on the top there um, nothing on this one yet and uh, these tomato plants these two tomato plants seem to be doing okay we had some leaves pulled from this pot the other day on a sandwich delicious um, that looks like it's just died that wild rocket I don't think we're gonna be bothering with that and the spring onions we're waiting uh, we're waiting on the cucumber plants there's one there's another I'm, ju I'm not sure whether they're actually doing well or not I mean this one seems to have a lot of little blooms in there so we shall see so there is a little uh, garden update my lovelies and uh, there's a lovely closing shot whilst the sun sets